Welcome back to Graceful Healing Intuitive Tarot. This is HP Marlena. We have changed the name of the channel, so definitely make sure if you're sharing this video, it's HP Marlena now. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. As you guys know, I'm really into the divine feminine chat, the talks. You can come live with me on a regular basis in order to get a live um, understanding of where the divine feminines are going as a collective as, and as a whole. Um, we also started this month with divine feminine updates, so you're, you will receive a divine feminine update for your specific sign usually i go live and i talk about the whole collective but i've never done each individual sign um so this will be my first month doing that so definitely check that out um if you're interested in seeing me a little more close and personal definitely follow me on instagram my information is below um we do have discounts on december readings so definitely reach out to me and i will see if i can fit you in for a December reading um, this month. Definitely get in before um, they're all uh, sold out. So, um, because this will be the only month that I will do the discounts like I'm doing them this month um, because the holiday and the holiday sometimes can be a little uh, tumultuous and especially during this year this is my giving back this is my way of giving back to the community by discounting the readings because i know that it can be difficult during the holidays on a regular basis and then due to covid and some of the isolation we've had to deal with um i just feel like it's necessary for me to offer this so i did want to give back to you guys and thank you so much for sharing this video liking subscribing and all that good jazz so um i do want to um let you know here Tauruses. <sighs> All right. So in your general reading, we talked about, you know, basically your abundance mindset, you going through this transformation, you receiving this teaching, you uh, being at a place where your experience puts you in position to teach and train and help others. In your love life, what you've gone through is helping you to teach someone new. I think that here it's showing me that it looks like with some of the things you've gone through, maybe some of you have lost faith in a relationship. Um, and you, now you're kind of trying to teach people to maybe become a little more open-minded. Um, you may be reaching out to others to assist you this month. Um, but if you've been going through a separation, it looks like some of you may be coming back Someone may be coming back to you. We're going to look into your mate and how they feel about the situation. But I first want to talk about you and how you're feeling in this relationship. So let's go ahead and look into your emotions for this month. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and guides. We're going to look into your emotions. The emotions of the Taurus as it pertains to love and the separation first. How did, how did the Taurus feel about the separation? Time apart from your partner is on a horizon. Um, this is like that past energy. So it looks like as a result of somebody showing their true colors, sharing their thoughts, um, <sighs> someone's been, uh, you know, emotional here. Um, so feeling very emotional, maybe have had tears as it pertains to this relationship here. And they're just trying to stay strong, to be honest. Um, I feel like some of you may be even looking a little hard, like, look, I'm not phased by this, like F you, that kind of energy. I'm feeling that here. But um, I'm seeing here that now you may be ready to reveal your truth if you haven't already. Uh, let me find out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's the messages that you have for Taurus regarding the separation? Yeah, I really feel like someone was feeling kind of down in the dumps over this. Um, maybe a bit hesitant to release their emotions, to be vulnerable in the situation. I'm seeing the advice here is for you to share how you feel. But I feel like you feel, again, like vulnerable if you do that. If you show who you truly are, you're, you're going to feel very vulnerable. And that might be what's kind of holding you back regarding this. So I'm seeing here now, stay optimistic about your love life here. Let's go a little deeper into that. Positive thinking and faith brings you romance. Let's get a little deeper into that. How does a tourist feel about staying optimistic about your love life? 
positive faith and positive thinking. Yeah, so spirit is saying you need to reveal your truth here. This is this current energy. You definitely need to, if you already started to reveal your truth, take that mask off, show who you really are. Then this is the month to start. Keeping an open mind. I feel like many of you don't feel open about this. Like you're not, you don't feel like this will work out. You, you, you're not wanting to. It's, it's almost, <laughs> it's almost like I feel this energy of like, no, nah, I don't want to, you know, that's how I'm feeling. Like, that's what I just heard. Like, uh -uh, I don't want to do this. Like I'm seeing like a child, like somebody trying to pull a child away from like a store or something and they're going off. Like, I don't want to do this. You know, um, that's what I just saw. So I don't know how that pertains to you, but, <laughs> um, if that makes any sense to you, then this reading is for you. Okay, so yeah, things are changing for you guys, um, but this requires you to really build your level of self-confidence um, and be vigilant about how you move forward. Um, I'm seeing that you need to start revealing your truth, see things for what they, I feel like you already see things for what they really are. I think you already know. I think you're already clear on this, but I feel like the issue lies with you communicating this, uh, showing it to others. It's like, you already know, but now you need to sh share it with others. So it looks like you may need to ask your friends for some assistance around this. Can I get clarity on freeing yourself here? We have freeing yourself here in reverse. So some of you, um, like I said, it's time for you to share your thoughts with a partner. Um, you know, it, it looks like some of you definitely will be going back or somebody's coming back to you. Let me clarify this attraction here. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of the same messages are coming out. FYI for you, the same thing is coming out. Um, as far as this attraction in here, attracting it, uh, this is about your, you attract romantic love, okay, by enjoying this moment fully. So, and then we have free yourself in reverse, which speaks to it's time to take back control of your life. So this is in reverse. It's like, to me, again, you guys have been controlling your emotions. You haven't really been authentic, outwardly authentic. I believe that some of you Tauruses, you really know who you are. But I don't really believe that everyone knows who you are. You may know who you are, but I feel almost like some of you portray yourself one way and to others and other people see you a different way. I hope I said that right. Uh, you portray yourself one way, but you're really another. So people only see what you portray. It's like you're, this is your representative, you know, and it's time for you to take, kind of take back some of that control. Uh, meaning release some of that control, you know, as you've been controlling what people see, you control this, you can control this too, and let them see your true you. So, um, but again, I see this, this message here of not wanting to, re to release. So in the near future, you may be feeling more compelled to release and be authentic to who you are and show that authenticity, show who you really are. Um, again, I feel like spirit is guiding you through this process. You are receiving guidance through this process, through spirit. Um, and this is actually going to be pretty empowering for you. You know, I believe that. And like I said, we saw soulmates in general, in the general reading. And, you know, there is this message here of higher power wanting to intervene on your behalf. Um, but this seems to be conflicting for the Taurus. And I think that's where the issue kind of comes in because Taurus is a bit conflicted about this. So whew, let's go ahead um, and um, look into your mate. Let's look into, ooh, that popped out quick. Taurus's mate. So um, it looks like somebody's beliefs were impacting the relationship in the past, but it seems like this may be improving over time, someone seems to want to take this a little, this relationship a little more seriously in the current and in the near future. Um, they feel like it is safe to open up their heart to you. Okay, so let me look into their emotions. So they feel like it's safe. They're, you know, this looks like a level of maturity that's occurring. Let me look at the emotions of the Taurus's mate. 
So your mate is getting messages from above. Your mate is, looks like their crown chakra is open pretty good as well. They're getting the messages to guide them. This means that even though you don't trust the situation, trust spirit. Like what you don't trust is the person. Trust the universe to do what's on your, you know, to, to do what's in your best interest because it's the universe who's going to make this change occur. Not you holding back and trying to control whether or not you show who you really are or your vulnerability and things of that. That's not going to propel your relationship forward if that's what you really want. If this is that soulmate that you really want. It's the universe. And I'm really getting a strong message to tell you that you speak to the universe and then let the universe do your bidding. You pray. You speak out loud. Um, I believe that's where this, this message is coming in here. Give joyfully to the organizations and people's and spiritual support and inspire you. People who spiritually support and inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned many folds in miraculous ways. I think that's why you receive this message here because this message is really speaking to you giving to your ancestors, you praying to spirit guides. Um, if you need a medium or a spiritual coach of some sort, that exchange, you'll get so much more out of it. So this is really talking about when you're helping the universe, the universe helps you. And so the universe can come to your assistance or to your aid through people through voices, through people. You see what I'm saying? So this is how deep this is, Taurus. Wow, this is like a really deep message. <laughs> like I didn't think I'd go into this with the with this reading, but this is an amazingly deep message. Spirit is saying, you talk to me and I got you. You, you have to think about it. You speak to the ether. The ether then speaks for you to that person. You don't have to make a phone call. Back in the day, there weren't phones, right? But someone knew if a family member was harmed or hurt through like, like telepathy, like it was just, they knew, they're knowing. I'm sure many of you have done something as simple as picked up the phone and somebody was on the other end, you know, or you would thought about someone and they called. You talked about someone and they called. You ask spirit for assistance and help. And then someone shows up at your door or a letter shows up in the mail or an email comes or a person calls or, you know, you may be crying or you may be praying and then God sends a message through some, someone on the TV. I mean, whatever it is. Ooh. Mm. Just believe. And, and some of you may be going through a time where it's hard for you to believe. And, um, Spirit is saying it is safe. It is safe for you to love. Oh my God. I just felt like that was a message. Like that was just like, <laughs> oh Lord. Ah, mm. okay. So I hope this really helped you guys. Um, wow. Let me get you your love advice really quickly here. I hope this really helps you um, on your journey and with your divine path. That, that was so beautiful. Like my heart is so open for you. And hopefully that helped you open your heart. What, I'm gonna give you two bits of advice. One advice is gonna be for you. The other advice is gonna be for your significant other. If you're a cross watcher, um, one advice will be for you as well. So first I'm gonna give advice to the cross watcher and end up, what is the advice to the cross watcher? Nope. They're saying, no, do you first. Okay, Taurus. Advice for Taurus. Advice for Taurus in love. What is the advice for Taurus in love? Turn on your heart light. Allow yourself in this moment to reflect on time when you have experienced love. Miracles and blessings. Wow. Everything has its gift. Okay. And then we have take a chance. <laughs> take a chance on love. I mean, how many times do you have to hear it to us? Take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. This is beautiful, Taurus. I, I just have to show you that. That's just fabulous. 
Um, I love this message for you. Let's go ahead and see what your mate <sighs> for your mate, for your mate. And by the way, when I do that, it's not because I'm tired. I'm doing it because I'm switching messages and spirit helps guide me. And through every breath, it's almost like they're changing and giving me new messages, you know, like, or at least that, that one's done. Now it's time for the next message. So for Taurus's mate, a message for Taurus's mate. What is the advice for Taurus's mate for the cross watcher? I'm here on how you should treat your mate. Somebody over there got their neck going on how you should treat your mate. <laughs> Get to the heart of the matter. <laughs> so your partner, there is more going on here than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. So this is for the cross watcher. Basically, learn your Taurus. Like if you don't know already that your Taurus has been hiding, and I feel like some of you already know that your Taurus has not been showing their true colors, you know, have not felt like comfortable enough to kind of open up, be understanding about that. Open up, notice what's at the heart of the matter. Give them room to open up, be there to be a listening ear, what have you, for your Taurus. So this is really just talking about getting to the heart of the matter. Um, if you're not quite sure why they have been holding back or um, or maybe a bit upset with you or maybe not as vulnerable with you, then this is what this is just coming to say. So spirit, um, I do see that your partner here will feel like it is okay for them to love. So um, this is good. Get to the heart of the matter. There's more going on here than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Um, I look forward to seeing you again in December. I'll be putting out the January readings. Make sure you go to www.gracefulhealingretreat.com for your sage crystals, your herbal bundles. And we're also doing gift sets this year, which is awesome for you guys. And you can actually during the month of, oh, if you guys are seeing this early, we are doing um, some free giveaways um, around Black Friday. So if you, for every gift or purchase, you will receive a free gift. It may be like a crystal. There may be a body product. We have like a little bag of goodies that we're giving away for free. So definitely take that, take an op, take that time out to try that too. I love you guys. Blessings, love and light. Bye-bye. <laughs>